Hi guys, I'm Minecraft here. Welcome to another Minecraft Modern tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to add metadata to your items. So you first want to go into your mod items class and we're going to make an item. So let's also go into the items package and create a new item. So I'm going to call this item gear. So it's going to be like gears mine is. So you first want to make a constructor. So press control space item gear. We're going to take in the unlocalized name in the constructor. So string unlocalized name dens item because that's good if it did. So import net Minecraft item and then this dot set unlocalized name to the unlocalized name this dot set creative tab to bit of everything dot items. So that's going to just set the creative tab. Now, because it's going to have metadata, it's actually going to have multiple items. So you want to do this dot set set has subtypes to true. So that means that it's going to have subtypes. So control space and then get subtypes or sub items and yep the first thing that you want to do here is sub items dot add and it's new item stack and I'm just going to rename this to item and items so let's just rename this to items so new item stack the item in the count is one and down value is zero so I'm going to have um Iron gears, gold gears, diamond gears, uh, and copper gears, and wooden gears, and stone gears. So for each one of these, I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to add another one, and it's a new item stack again. And it's going to be that item. And that's going to be one, and that's going to have damage of one. So we can just copy and paste this, really. So then that's all of them. Then we need to do a get unlocalized name. So get unlocalized name. And we want to do the one that has stack as a parameter. So we need to use this. So, yep. So, first thing that you want to do is if stack dot get item damage is zero. So if it's got no damage at all, you want to return the default one so I'm just going to call it stone and then um, by default this is what it's going to be so here you want to put the default one so when it has no damage and then we can just control C this and do it when it's data damage one so like this this is going to be that's going to be wood actually sorry so wood and then it's going to be stone So then that's all of the stuff here. Now, we want to go into our mod items class and we want to make our item. So public static item and I'm going to call it gear. So that, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it a copper or anything. Then I want to initialize it. So gear equals new item gear. Control space. And we want to put in the localized name, which is going to be gear. And there we go. So we need to actually register an item. Yep, so you do it as you would normally. So register item. And it's going to be gear. So we just want to register it as we would normally. So we registered it. Now, registering the renders is a bit different. Because at the moment, we've hard-coded in this zero. And that zero is, in fact, the metadata. So I'm going to copy and paste this. We're going to take in the item. We're going to take in the meta. We're also going to take in the um, a string, which is going to be the file name. And there we go. So if we just put here, meta. So that's going to be the metadata. Now, we want to do not item.get unlocalized. Now, we just want to put file name here 
and that will pretty much do the same as that but we just have to do it differently because it has metadata so register render and you want to do that one and the item is the gear the meta is zero and the file name I'm going to call it um, I'm going to first one is wood underscore gear and then you got to do this for all the different ones all the different damage values so we do in fact need to do something we called the model bakery now you've got to make sure you go to your client proxy and your common proxy so in the common proxy we need to create a new method called public void register model bakery stuff that's just what I'm going to call it and that's not going to have anything in the common proxy because this is called on the client proxy so if we just click on register model bakery stuff it's going to override it so don't need to call a super and all we want to do is model bakery dot register item variants now if you're doing 1.8 it's add variant name but that's deprecated in 1.8.9 so if we just do this and it's mod items dot gear and the names so it's going to be a new resource location press control space and we're just going to make taking a string and it's got to be uh, on localized name so boe colon and then the first one is wood underscore gear and we've got to do this for every single one so i recommend just use select the comma and control C and control V and just fill these in and it's it like sort of like what we did before with that dot 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 thing for the potion effects on the apple it's sort of like that so that that's what it does so it it goes on forever so it was in fact something that I forgot to do so here when we're getting the unlocalized name, we want to actually get the default unlocalized name and add it to this. So uh, before we, on each one, so this dot get unlocalized name plus then it's going to be dot wood. Yep. So and then you just want to add this. So I'm going to add that to it. And there we go. So that's going to just fix up that. So then if we go into our BOE language file and right click open with text editor then we can in fact do this item so it's going to be item dot gear dot then it's going to be the type so wood dot name equals wooden gear and you've got to do this for every single item that you got one so So that's our language file done and now because in the model bakery we put this is the model file so it's going to be wood underscore gear so I want to go into your folder I'm just going to get the I'm going to go into my mods I want to go to a bit of everything and go all the way down to BOE and you want to go to models and item and I'm just going to copy the cup of apple and then I'm going to call it um, because it, mine was like wood underscore gear then you open up that and then um, I'm just going to change this to um, wood underscore gear and you want to do this for every single one so just a lot of copy and pasting I guess So I just recorded a whole entire time lapse of me creating all of the textures for the items and I've just realised that I wasn't actually recording it but what I'll do, I'll just preview them for you so uh, preview, I'll just show you guys all of them so this is the copper gear 
This is the diamond gear. This is the gold gear. This is the iron gear. And this is the stone gear. And this is the wood gear. So if we just refresh these resources, should see here. So we should have all of our models. Yep, and we should have everything. Before we run our game, we forgot something that's really important. We need to actually register these actual renders. So, registering the renders is here. So if we do proxy dot register model bakery stuff, now that's actually going to call it on the client proxy. Now it has to be called on the client proxy because I found out this when do my mod that if you run a server with your mod, the server doesn't have the model bakery class. So it crashes your server. So just run this and let's just wait for the game to load up. So our game is loaded up, so let's go into our test world. Now I did see some errors in chat and like what's going on. So um fingers crossed I did it right. So slash game mode C items. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it errored something about block states, which there shouldn't be any block states. But you see, we've got a wooden gear, a stone gear, iron gear, a gold gear, a diamond gear, and a copper gear. And if you press F3 and H, just to see everything, so you see, BOE gear 0, BOE gear 1, BOE gear 2. And they ha that is metadata, guys. I'm just going to get rid of that. And I hope you guys did enjoy watching this. Hope you guys le learnt something. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did. I'm out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.